Hello everyone and welcome to a new podcast episode um, by Numel the Knitter. That's my YouTube name and my real name is Melene. I live in Denmark with my partner and with my soon to be and with my soon to come around baby. Um show you a big belly here. Um, yes, I'm pregnant in the ninth month, so it's coming anytime now, over the next three weeks. But uh, yeah, we live here. I am a passionate knitter. I've been since um, since like I learned knitting as a child, but picked it up again in 2019. So since then, I've been and now it's 2024. So since then, I've been knitting passionately. Uh, a lot of patterns and some self-created things, but mostly I've been I'm following patterns because it's just the easy way and there you can still always transform it into your own mm, Yes That's about me. So welcome to this podcast Welcome to Nomel Knitter <laughs> Sometimes life goes easy, sometimes life goes do 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 Sometimes minds go crazy, sometimes minds go do 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 And before diving in, I think I could give a little update about me. I feel like some podcasters do that sometimes and that's really nice. <clears throat> um, um, I'm doing really good. I'm on maternity leave and I'm really enjoying being home um, and like I have so much time for knitting because I have time. <laughs> like suddenly to have all this time for knitting and I can really re see that my things get Fin I finished things mu much quicker than normally. Um, I've started writing down the dates of when I start a project and when I finish it, and it's mostly like two weeks time. That's really nice. And um, I just nurture my body with good food, good drinks, drink decaf coffee. Um, and today we had a really good breakfast, porridge. And I just... Yeah, I'm just taking good care of myself and enjoying this process of growing like the belly is being, becoming really big and really um, impractical so I always need help to get out of the sofa I can't get out of the sofa myself but it's always nice to get help and sleeping I sleep really deep and good and luckily sometimes I'm awake and then I knit in the night, in the night. <laughs> but overall I'm doing really good I'm really looking forward to this birth and I'm giving home uh, giving birth at home. Yesterday I just picked up a birthing pool that I am renting from a woman who has two children. Soon we're gonna set it up and see how it goes, how quick, how quickly it fills with water and yeah. I'm hoping for a really good uh, pain-free and pleasurable, pleasurable and natural birth. So, but um, anything can happen. I don't know, but I'm preparing and I'm being really looking a lot forward to it. And as I said, I'm knitting a lot. I feel like I have some, I have a, a bunch of projects going on. I finished three objects that I'm going to show you, and I'm wearing one little top called my secret um, crop, my little secret crop, I think, by Jessie May Design. Um, wearing it underneath, that's a little as a bralette that goes until under the boob, and it's a lot of left over, a lot of scrap yarns. And no, oh yeah, and I'm wearing <laughs> Sunday socks on a Tuesday, very used. They are from from last year, like they're now a year old. 
Sunday socks by Petit Knit. Yeah, I love them. I wear them and I knit them. That's the only pair pattern that I really like to knit. Uh, knitting socks. I'm knitting on a new pattern right now. Trying something else out. I'll show you later. But it's just thin needles and this Sunday socks are thick needles, so much more fun. Okay, let's let's get into it. Some finished objects. Um, the first one is still wet. I just blocked it, I think one or two days ago. And it's a little bit wet still, like damp. It's a ripper bralette. Um, it's a ripper bralette by Jessie May Designs. I knitted this in uh, cotton and merino yarn from Knitting for Olive and added these colors. The stripes are, I think the dark blue is one called Alpaca 400 from Yadegan and the light blue is uh, Alva from Filculana. Just some thin ones that I just added in as a splash of color. I um, really love blue these days and I knitted this uh, on thinner needles than the pattern says to get it more snug, more tight to the body because the ones I've been making in the past, I've made them a few times and they're always way too big, they always like flow out and I have this big thing on because I also like the thicker yarn so and this is the because I only have the light version of the pattern, the fingering yarn. She also has a DK way yarn so I would uh, DK pattern. I would buy that ripper bridal pattern if I were you. Because then you can it can go much more fast and you have you can use thicker yarns or two thing, fingering yarns held together. It's just I think it's just a much more um, not see through fabric. I think the thin ones is really hard to not get it see through. But anyways, it's just my recommendation. And I love ripple bralettes. I've knitted many in the past and this one is a bit longer which I think it's a bit more like a camisole. She also has a pattern for a camisole, if that's more your thing. It's more loose, this is one that's tight. And um, right now I don't fit it. I tried it on. Uh, it doesn't go over my belly, of course. This is too tight for the belly, so I tried it on just to see how the straps were going, but everything seemed very tight, so I'm uh, excited to see how that goes when I'm not pregnant anymore. Um, so, but it's very stretchy, like you can see. I love this, and this I knitted in a few days. I feel like I think I think I started it on a on a Thursday and then finished it on a Saturday, like something like that. Crazy, yeah, very fun, very very fun. I did some normal ribbing in the bottom just because I forgot that she does. She in the pattern it's like uh, twisted. Twisted knitting and then pearl, twisted knit, pearl, twisted knit, twisted knit. But here I just did normal ribbing. Oh yes, and I hold, I held the knitting for olive yarn double. So it's held double on needle size 3 and 3.5. Yes. Okay, uh, let's get on to it. I have another really beautiful project that I finished, also by Jessie May Design because she's amazing and I just uh, recently got back into my my patterns and checked all the summer tops I have or just the tops because this is not a summer top because it's with wool but all the tops patterns that I had that I haven't knitted yet also so this one finally threw myself into it I've always been like um, intimidated by the pattern because I didn't wasn't used to colorway but as you know maybe if you've been here before you have seen that I got into color knitting. And this is color knitting. <laughs> this is her t-shirt pattern called Hello from my colors. Crop. It's, mine is even more cropped than hers because I just ran out of yarn. <laughs> I ran out of the base yarn and I changed. Like the thing, I followed the pattern all the way as she does as she describes, all the way until here, under the blue, and under the yellow. This first yellow stripe is the last. Here I followed the pattern, and then from here is a little bit weird freestyle to use, like the red, I filled it up instead of you. It should have been like this, a thin red line, 
just filled it up with red because I didn't have more of the beige base color only for the last here and the green also just to make it a little bit longer <laughs> but it's nice it fits perfectly over the belly but it's also really good in winter like it's wool and I think it could it's a great little vest kind of thing to have warm shoulders and the yarn is um, Isaiah's yarn called Jensen all the colors except for the yellow the yellow is Jelthold Ullspinneri it's handwerk scan and the blue is by a crafter's tale podcast uh, Nina is her name and I got I got it from Martina from Weaver Wild she gifted it to me kindly and um, she got this blue yarn from Nina and it's hand dyed <clears throat> it's a bit thinner than the rest but I don't, I don't think it matters much I really like it this was really fun such a fun 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 knit to do <clears throat> so yeah as I said um, if you have been here like before you know it you've seen it in my last vlog but if you're new here welcome and I hope you've enjoyed it I did a little introduction I mean but still like welcome I'm glad you find found my channel and if you are an, a, a returner welcome back and thank you for all the support you give and thanks for being here like both all of you thanks for being there <laughs> one more thing before I put it on to show you is that it has really nice long um, German short rows in the back as you can see the beige here is shorter and the back higher and it makes a great fit and I feel like many <coughs> color work patterns that I have seen they didn't um, have a rise in the back only a rise under the arms <laughs> but this here it is like it's amazing I love it so much and it's blocked and nice and I just love these color works and um, yeah I really love it the fit it's really good and it was a really nice challenge to follow a pattern again and the cool thing is in the pattern she gives you also a chart that is plain so you can create your own pattern uh, in the chart so that there are decreases but you can put your own pattern in I like that <laughs> isn't that nice yeah and as I said, I ran out of the beige, but the rest of the colors... Oh, I ran out of beige and green. I used them up. Yeah, and the rest I have a lot of still and can do other projects. And I think I went down a needle size on that one too. I mostly do that. Half a needle size. Yeah, I think I did. Last but not least, the finished object is a vest. Ooh, it's very dark, huh? <laughs> it's in Portuguese, so it's like Burgos vest. Um, and it has three buttons. The dark one, you can't really see, it's black. And it has like a ribbing arm ribbing beautiful shoulder construction it's hard to show sorry so it's knitted you start knitting the front uh, the back panel and then you pick up for the front and when you are get to the to the under the armpit you knit back and forth and then you add on the button band and I actually quite enjoyed it this time because she has a really good her pattern is really good in explaining how many stitches to pick up and where to pick them up it's a bit like Jessie made uh, patterns that says like how many to pick up in the front how many to pick up underneath and how many to pick up here and yeah in what ratio to pick them up like mostly two out of three rows you pick up I feel like that was just really good described the one thing that I didn't like, that was, what was that? Ah, yeah, it was 
when you have to knit here in the front panel before the decreases or the increases <laughs> um, it's not said in centimeters how much to knit straight it said like knit uh, 40 rows so you have to keep counting and it's a that was a little bit annoying I would like to have had like just to measure it and know pro approximately I don't know a few centimeters something that was the same for here how many rows to knit but I mean that I just knitted after the length I desired but overall I really liked following this pattern and I really like how it is fitting me it's perfect for the breastfeeding times that are coming so you could close it and that's yeah, like really nice big arms um, and the yarn that I used is uh, Lopis Pluto Lopi for the blue let me show you a bit closer up it's with two colors so the blue dark blue one is Lopis uh, Pluto Lopi as I said the unspun yarn held single held together with um, a gray one you can see that it's like um, marbled the gray one is called um, Holzgarn called Super Soft by Holzgarn even though it was super scratchy and <laughs> still super soft and both of the yarns Martina also gifted me really really sweet from Wiggle Wild and she I even got two plates of the unspun and two balls of the other one and I have one whole plate left I felt like I only used one of the plates of the unspun yarn for this actually it's crazy I started on the other one but still so much left so it's a really nice knit with you can you can really you don't need a lot of yarn so it's like almost 350 meters that I used maybe or 310 meters uh, yardage as you call it in meters I have it so this is a great stable um, piece of clothing for my wardrobe like I really needed something like this open to open up and has a has as an accessory or on top of like of this shirt for example or just a long sleeve or in summer over a top yeah let's get on to work in progress also called whips you didn't know that already <laughs> Um, let me start with the smallest thing. As I said something about socks, now I can show you. Oops. Ah, there was the wrong needle to pull. Okay, <laughs> save the stitches. This is a sock for a friend who is visiting soon around my due date. Who will be a support in case I will give birth around my due date. We'll see what happens. But I'm giving her these socks if I make if I make it. Right now, this is the first one, um, based on a pattern that my aunt aunt sent me. Taxine, thank you. She sent me this because I told in my last podcast I talked about the socks that I have from her are the best socks that I have. Like almost, they have the um, such a good heel. And now she showed me how she makes her heel. Um, it's you you knit one and then you lift one off um, twist it and you lift one so you probably if you're in, if you know sock patterns you probably know it but I was like how do you do it it looks like magic and now I understand so it's kind of double is it called double knitting I think it is but I'm really impatient on thin needles it's really I think it always gets really thin the fabric and I will I will next time try to do this with thicker yarn and still do it this way with less stitches, thicker yarn because I feel like it's just very see-through because I'm such a loose knitter and it's hard to make them really dense with this normal sock yarn like I have this normal, I don't know, sock yarn with a little bit of plastic nylon or whatever it's called and, and wool but it's just uh, 58 stitches and the cuff is um, 
in ribbing and just a sock. Yeah. <laughs> Not much more to say to that. And then I've been working on this one on and off, maybe you have seen it. Also if you saw my last podcast. This little sweater. Just about to finish off the one arm. I showed this in my last podcast for sure. And now um, the arm, the folded edge. I, I worked the rib the stripes a little bit too far, but I let them, I didn't want to rip back. So I'm just it has to be fold, folded here. And it would look like this. I think that's cute. Kind of. And some different yarns held together here. Um, the dark blue one is this an alpaca, no, llama silk yarn. Um, don't know the brand anymore. And the red one's just from my stash. I've used it in many, several projects and still has so much left. Um, oh, and I remembered a new, another project I will show you of where I'm using it too. Um, and the grey one was gifted to me, also by Martina. As you can see, I'm really using a lot of the ones she gifted to me. This is a super soft. Um, say more when I finish it, say more about the yarns. So that's, it's the Harald Troy, Harald sweater. By Pity Knit. That I'm making in a tiny size. That's the first size, and it will be oh, the first sweater that my baby can wear. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. If I finish it, I think I will finish it. And now I'll just go get the other one that I talked about. This is a project that I'm working on in bed in the evenings or when I wake up at night. Then I have my nightlife and uh, night my nightlife. No, my night light around my neck that um, and then I knit when my partner is sleeping and I can because I'm awake and then I can just knit on this thing. So this is a baby blanket. <laughs> I don't know why I started that so late, <clears throat> but I might finish it. Might also be for the next baby if there's coming one. Um, It's uh, going to be four of these triangles. <laughs> it's, um, you can see the tip here. So on every end of the row you always knit two together. And here, so this will be triangle. And you knit four of these together. You knit them, I think you will, I will pick up stitches on this one, I guess. It's a free pattern by Pearl Soho. I don't really remember the name right now. I will put it somewhere in the description. There, they have a lot of free blanket patterns, so you can just check it out. They have a lot of them. There was one night that I was awake and I was checking out them all. I was like, what, so many? I just want a really easy one. And I just uh, changed color myself. It's just plain. I think they did the triangles in four different colors. And I just do every triangle in different colors and I try to I knit the uh, the next color in for a long time and I'm just cutting them off because I don't want to have ends to sew in and I'm using also yarns from Martina uh, this is Muyak she sent me this it's a mini skein I'm using that in this one I don't know if I'm gonna yeah, what the colors are going to be in the different triangles, but they will be. My partner will also be knitting on it because uh, he's he started knitting, and he's uh, knitting, like just knitting on both sides. He doesn't do purl yet, and this is knitting on both sides. This uh, blanket, so it could be perfect. It will be perfect for him to knit on. So I will finish the first triangle, and then he can do the next, and he can choose the colors. I think that's kind of fun, and it's kind of sweet, right? Like. Creating the blanket together for our baby. <laughs> and I'm using, holding these together right now. This one, as I said, from Matina. The brand is Muyak. This is really soft, perfect baby knit yarn. And then there's this orange one that another friend brought to me from Iceland and called Lady Marmalade. 
something like that. <laughs> really soft also. And then I just have leftovers like from my stash. I think I will I don't know if I'm gonna use earth tones, but I think I will do some earthy tones too. And some blues, greens, whatever color feel to me. So I just have that in here. And it's standing in the bedside crib. I have we already have that baby bedside crib next to our bed and standing in there. I'm just knitting on it every now and then and see if I can finish it in the next three weeks. Okay. I have two more projects that I am working in progress and a little bit of yarn. So I have to say something about this bag because um, this lovely woman, Laurie, you say it in a French way, I guess, Laurie, but I'm not so good at French. <laughs> she sent me this lovely care package for the last time of my last weeks of my pregnancy and like she sent me chocolate and tea, like a, um, a tea for breastfeeding and uh, yarn and stitch markers and this bag and a lovely card and I was so touched and moved. It was so, so sweet. She's been watching my podcasts and we're following each other on Instagram and she sent me this as a little, and she, she made this bag herself. It's probably machine sewn and hand embroidered, um, inspired by the Basque country and the Pyrenees where she lives. Yeah, so, so, so sweet. And she gave me these beautiful stitch markers. I have one on my, this project. Like a bronze ring. It's like a little crystal. Do you see it? So beautiful. Thank you so much again, Laurie. Laurie. Um, she even has a podcast called The Knitting World. Here, check it out. Go check her out, uh, she's lovely and she sent this to me and I feel it's so it's so pre precious to receive these things um, um, just out of pure love, like it was just out of love because she remembered how it was for her to be pregnant with her first child and the, how magical it is and, and yeah this support from sisters how how important that is, especially. So I really felt held and supported by a sister uh, from far away. It's just so special. And right now I have in it, inside it, I have another ripple bralette. I'm using this cotton yarn. It's just cotton 100 from Yadagan. Danish, this Danish brand, nothing fancy. It was on sale. Just black, just black cotton yarn. And you saw it a little bit. Here it is. Another ripple bralette. They will also become longer. I kind of need them to be longer so I can wear them just like that. It's not that warm in Denmark when it's summer. So I can't just walk in crop tops all day even though I would love to, but sometimes it's nice to have something on top of a your belly. I don't live in, in Hawaii, sometimes I wish I did. But yeah, this one will be longer. Here, this time I did the twisted knitting and all that. You can't really see it, it's black. And it's just a nice mindless project to work on. Just knit, knit, knit. Three, rib, three. Now it has like three by three ribbing here. Yeah. And I'm doing this one this time on 3.5 and 3.75 millimeters needles. To be sure it's not that tight as the other one. I think the other one is a little bit tight. But cotton again is also, um, but it's 100% cotton, it's really drapey, you know, it can really quickly hang low. So, but this one seems sturdy. And I just make it tighter than I want it, and then it will sit good and not get too loose. But it can be loose. A little bit, just a little bit. 
not too much. So we will brand it. In my beautiful new bag. Let me put it here. She's so pretty. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, last uh, work in progress. I had to film this again because I forgot it. I was doing the end. <laughs> so here it is. <clears throat> my last work in progress is this levitate wrap by uh, my favorite things knitwear. So I started on the back panel, has the same shoulder construction as the burger we burgers vest. Mm, and I'm holding these two yarns together to create this marbled effect that I saw another woman do on Instagram. I saw a photo and since then I wanted to create it. And right now I'm just working on <coughs> Yeah, on the, on the whole body thing. And you need, like here, you keep doing a lot of increases so that it gets, becomes this wrap cardigan that you can wrap around yourself in the front. And it will, you will add some kind of strings and sadly, I have to add things on <laughs> because I don't like, don't like it so much, but you have to pick up stitches and then do a, no, a double knitted band. And I have, kept swearing to myself that I will never do that again, that I would just do things that are in one. Um, but I didn't do enough research and I just like, I want to do it, so I'm just working. I bought the pattern and I'm doing it and I will add everything on, it has to be added on. And this is how far I'm going. It's going really slow, it's a thing that doesn't have any rush. I cut it on <coughs> a while ago, like in January. And it's February now, so it's not long ago, but I have cast it on and I don't work on it every day. No rush with this one. These two yarns I'm holding together. It's both from Yadigan, Alpaca and Alpaca, I think. Both of them. Yeah. That's that. And last category. Acquisitions. 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 Yeah, new things. I have this blue yarn that Laurie also sent to me. Ulysse, Ulysse, Laine, Merino, Cardi. I don't know. It's definitely wool, 100% wool, in the color plume, plum. And it's 158 meters and 50 gram. I love this color. Look how it fits with this brown. And I'm, of course, already thinking and thinking what I can make with it but I don't know and I think it will also more be for winter so there's many options from France and then yesterday I went to a big shop called Hobby here in Denmark it's a weird shop <laughs> it's, a, it's so weird because it is uh, two men who doesn't knit, who came up with this project and or came up with this uh, chain, this huge chain. But um, obviously they're succeeding in online sale and in having a lot of big stores with a lot of employees and a lot of colorful yarn. They have so much yarn and um, they have some really good different kind of summer yarns and I wanted that. I didn't really find the colors that I, I was a little bit um, struggling finding the colors I wanted. So I again bought the colors that I almost always buy. And I wanted to find some dark blue summer yarn. And with summer yarn I mean kind of um, with silk or cotton mixed together with bamboo and all these things. And I did find some. So this is this is actually not their own brand. Normally I thought they only had their own brand. But they have also BC Garn, and I'm really loving BC Garn. Um, this is cotton and linen, 50-50, and it's like 125 meters on 50 gram. I'm gonna make a bralette with this, some kind of short bra, bralette. Probably the ripple bralette in a loose version. Yeah. Um, 
yes, that I bought. Two of them, and then two of these, and this is from their own brand. So this is, if you don't know it, Hobby um, Rainbow Bamboo, 60% viscose and 40% cotton, 100 gram and 250 meters. And I have two because I thought that could be fun for a t-shirt or a top. You know, it's we'll see what happens. This color is definitely a color that I normally often buy. <laughs> I feel like it fits my skin tone good. And I bought one in the yellow too, that I can, I will also make a bralette. And maybe I was thinking of holding it together with this. This is also, this is PC guy and it's Jaipur Silk Fino, Mulberry Silk, 100% Mulberry Silk. And I, would, I was thinking of maybe comparing them together, holding them so that it won't be so drapey. With the silk it could be more steady, sturdy and more in shape. My camera is dying, I have to charge it. So, but this is a good idea, I think. Lots of summer projects, I love that. Let me get back to you in a moment. That's it, it's all the yarn, all the projects. I think I didn't forget anything. Um, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you if you lasted until the end. I think podcasts can be long. But I mean, it's a good thing to be watching while knitting. But I really try not to make them too long. But I just want to thank you all so, so, so much for being here. And I feel so uh, um, cherished and loved by all of you. From I love reading all your comments and I try, like I do respond to all of them. I try to do it um, in my own tempo. So I, I answer as good as I can and but I read them all and I cherish them so much and I'm so grateful when you write kind messages to me and I just feel seen and I feel I have a community and I have like I have my own community on the internet it's amazing and I thank you so much for being there for being a part of that and thank you also for just arriving now and and let's get to know each other so Maybe you want to uh, write where you're from, uh, like what country maybe, could be cool to see where you're all from. I would love to see and hear from you. Thank you so much for today. Hope you enjoyed um, seeing what I'm working on and I hope I will keep uh, posting, uploading videos. I don't know how it's going to be now with the baby coming. Uh, I will try to also like post another video next week. Let's see what happens. Um, thank you so much for being there. See you next time. Bye bye. That's Teve, my Hello. name. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> so in German. I am. I am. A lot. German. A lot of German in me. <laughs> and English in you. Yes.